Both TMS and IV ketamine are very effective interventions for treatment-resistant depression. How do we choose which is better for any individual patient? TMS is covered by most insurances, whereas IV ketamine at present is a cash pay procedure. Both are outpatient procedures, although with TMS, one can drive him or herself to and fro treatment and resume activities right after. With IV ketamine, we do require a driver because it is considered anesthesia and there is a little time for recovery. Uh, most patients want a half hour, an hour before they would be doing other activities. Ketamine seems a bit superior to TMS when we need a very rapid response as with acute suicidality or if the depression is comorbid with significant PTSD or chronic pain.